Mm. It's smoky. You gotta get something smoked in the soup. I like how how it covers almost the whole space. You can kind of use ingredients that you have in your kitchen from cooking something else. Hello, my hungry friends. Welcome to Kitchens Closed. Today we're taking you on a culinary adventure to experience some Polish fine dining. We are, I'm Anna from Polish Your Kitchen and this is my husband, Mark. He's the camera guy. We, together we run the Polish Your Kitchen blog where we teach you how to make Polish food. We are in Mierzencino, a winery just a couple of hours south of Szczecin, Poland. And we are going to show you what fine dining looks like in Poland. And on top of that, there's a freaking palace. Like for realsy palace, see? So we'll show you that too. Uh, there's lots of stuff to see here on the grounds. They have a don't, horsey... Don't let it all out oh. in the first shot. Oh, uh, okay. So, cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Let's go. The village of Mizenshin, where the palace is located, has been mentioned in historical sources all the way back to the Middle Ages. In about 1608, Mizenshin became the property of the von Kram family and would remain the family seat for more than a hundred years. In 1715, the estate was bought by the von Sidu family and then sold again to the von Vardo family. There's lots of vons, holy vonness. The palace which dominates the surrounding landscape was built between 1861 and 1863 according to the wishes of Robert Friedrich von Warduf. An English neo-Gothic style building is surrounded by vast landscape parks with an Arcadian feature, according to the website of the palace. I don't know what an Arcadian feature is. Of the interwebs? Of the interwebs. At the beginning of the 20th century was the greatest period of expansion and changes on the estate. With the addition of a distillery, mm -hmm. Ooh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's when the fun started. That's tasty. Horse stables and several other outbuildings. Thankfully, the palace and the manor buildings were nearly untouched during World War II. After the war, the land and the buildings of the von Wardorf estate became the property of the Polish National Treasury. Between 45 and 1952, the palace functioned as an orphanage for handicapped children until 1959. In 1959, the Polish state farmland, the PGR in Polish, reads Soviet. PGR. Yeah, it's Soviet farming stuff, was established in Mizhenshin. All the palace rooms in the manor complex were converted to offices, a kindergarten, and a country after-school club, workers' flats and utilities rooms. It was a socialist paradise. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to my chamber. Oh yes, it's delightful. And here's our room at the spa. Winery Vineyardy. Nice clean room, huh? It does look colder than it is. That is for sure.
Well, I think um, I think I'm gonna start with. Are you having soup? Yes, of course I'm having soup. I always have soup. Okay, let me guess. So uh, like here's a trip, a trip, a tip in Europe. The the service is usually slower than it is in, in the United States, and I get hungry. So what I do is I always order a soup because the soup comes first, and it comes out as soon as it can, and then I'm eating, which makes me very happy. Can I guess which one you get? You're yes, getting? go for it. The beef broth. Yes, beef broth, handmade small dumplings, stuffed with vegetables, caramelized spring cabbage, and coriander oil. That now I'll, really good. I'll say it in Polish now. Bullion wołowy, rącznie robione uszka z warzywami, karmelizowana, mioda kapusta, oliwa z kolendry. No widzisz? No widzisz. What are you gonna have? Maybe I'll have a beef tartare for starter. Ooh, beef tartare. We're having a lot of cow. Maybe I'll serve it up. Maybe I'll change it. Uh, for main course, I think I have to go with fish again. Uh -huh. <coughs> because that's what I do. Or, or rabbit. rabbit. <laughs> I haven't had rabbit in a while. I'm not sure I've ever had rabbit. Really? Mm -hmm. What are you having for your main? I'm stuck on it. I was thinking between the venison pierogi <coughs> and that rabbit. Well, let's get something different then. Yeah. I'm not gonna get two rabbits. No, that's why, it's, that's, yeah. So why don't you get rabbit and I'll get the pierogi. And then we do changey changey. Uh -huh, or do you yeah. not want any pierogi? Yeah, yeah, yeah I okay. always want pierogi. Of course you do. The always want venison pierogi. pierogi? Yeah. Okay. I think we have a plan. High five. So for your starter, you're getting soup. Yes. And then. And you're getting beef tartare. I'm getting beef tartare, and then um, pierogi and rabbit. Yes. And then we'll have room for dessert. Yes, of course. Maybe, probably. They have a very fancy menu. They do. But it's not. It's not excessively expensive. Okay, so the main meat dish, the fancy like the the rabbit, is forty nine. Zwote, so it's like twelve dollars. It's not yeah. that bad. Twelve, thirteen dollars. Mm -hmm. It's not bad at all. So it's another great thing about Poland. Not expensive. Na pani, proszę bardzo. I'm so happy. <laughs> I haven't even started yet. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big old pepper grinder. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Super. Thank you very much. Okay, so here we go. Before we start nom nomming, we have to take a look at what we have. Beef tartare extraordinaire. And beef broth soup with dumplings because yum. Mm. Um, Mike. Is it tasty? Mm -hmm. Looks tasty. Mm -hmm. Want some? Yes, I do. Poland is not is not known for its beef. I, I have a hard time finding good beef in Poland. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay. But that is good beef. That is good beef tartare. Mm -hmm. So on my beef tartare, I have a little bits of uh, pickle and onion, diced really finely, and it's got little speckles of mm. mayo, flavored oh, mayo, God. but I can't tell what what kind of flavor it's in it. And I have a couple of radishes and then sprinkled with uh, a little bit of cheese. Oh man. Hmm? It's very tasty. And in my soup, I have soup and dumplings. 
I'm pepper. not a cook. I like mine peppery. Yeah. Oh. Got me a little bit of dumpling here. Dumpling. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Here, wanna try doing my dumplings? But you only have two. It's okay. I share. There you go. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. That is tasty. That beef bouillon has duck in it. Yeah? You think? I don't I know. Think so. That's quite possible. Mm. That it was. was very good. I'm looking forward to the next part. We got Bugs Bunny. Don't tell the kids. Don't tell the kids. Don't tell the kids. There you go. Thank you. That was my limit. <laughs> tell what you're getting. That's good. There you go. Okay. All right. I have to. Piroshki. Proszę uprzejmie. Oh, we have rabbit two ways. This looks like a roll. Rabbit with meat in it and then deep fried. And this looks like a leg uh, with potato. Uh, what do you call this potato? Sweet potato. Uh, sweet taters. And then. <coughs> Uh, I think uh, some sort of a grain. So this is English, English. A grain. And then I have deer pierogi. Venison. Venison. Thank you very much. My bad. With uh, plum sauce and I can't remember what it said on and rum sauce. And then this would be beets. Mm hmm. Yum. Smudge mango. Wild mushrooms. Beets and mushrooms? Yummy. Okay, my first rabbit. Your first rabbit. I'm going for pure if, rabbit. If you're going to eat rabbit, this is probably the place to do it. I would think so, This huh? is a real chef kitchen. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Rum. Hmm. Is it gamey? Mm -mm. No. It has a the consistency of I know this is gonna sound kinda cliche, but of chicken. But mm -hmm. a little more rich in flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's tasty. And my venison again tastes a little bit like duck. Yeah? No, oh, hang on. <gasps> oh, you why? get two and I get two. We're uh, sharing. Oh. Go in. But wait. And for dessert. And for dessert, we have chocolate mousse with meringue, fruit, and ice cream with combo. No, it's all. Super, super. Really tasty. All thumbs up. All the thumbs, all the up. All the up. Real cooking, real chef cooking. Yes, ma'am. Uh, calm chef. No. <laughs> this guy was trained mm -hmm. in the culinary arts. So, yeah. Say good morning, hungry good morning, friends. Hungry friends. So it's another beautiful, bright, and shiny day here in Poland, and we're headed off for some fushtek, or schnadania, or breakfast here at the wonderful vineyard and spa and retreat. So 
stick around, we'll show you what's for breakfast here. Traditionally, at a hotel, uh, they have like a continental type thing with some cold cuts, breads, yogurts, some cereals, uh, some cheeses, things like that. So we shall see what we see. And hot dogs. Oh yeah, and hot dogs. Yeah, hot dogs are popular. And boiled eggs. And boiled eggs. Yep. <clears throat> so we'll see what we see what we see. So that was a tasty breakfast. What do you say we go explore the grounds a little bit? I say yay. Yay! It's a beautiful, bright, and sunshiny day. So why not? It functioned as a state farmland until 1992. Modern, One, modern time now. Yeah, more modern times, yep. Once Poland regained its independence from the Soviet Union, uh, the palace was largely abandoned for many years, but uh, on 9 July of 1998, the palace, together with the manor and all the outbuildings, was purchased by a Polish company called Novol, with the intention of resurrecting this beautiful property to its former glory. Between 1999 and 2001, thanks to the efforts of the new owners, the palace was thoroughly renovated and now operates as a company retreat, hotel, winery, and place to keep horses. And that's... And now. and a restaurant. And a winery. I said. Oh, winery. you already said that. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you put Poland on your next trip calendar. And if you do, come here to this place. Pla Pałas something I can't say. Mm -hmm. And we hope you stick around and see our next videos. Or go back and learn how to cook Polish food. Follow, <laughs> like, subscribe. Visit www.polishkitchen.com. Check out the merch store. Hit the little bell on the YouTube jobby after you subscribe to get notifications of when we do more things like this. And uh, as always, there's a donate button at the bottom of uh, polishkitchen.com if you want to give Anna free money. Feel free to do so. She already has all mine, so it's no big deal. You should try it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Dobrze <laughs> dnia. <laughs>